What's up everybody, thank you for coming back to the channel. Well today is 5 Minute Fridays, which is a segment where I teach you some of my tips and tricks to editing. Today we're going to be talking about how I edit my drone footage on Premiere Pro and it's not that hard. It only takes a few minutes to take your drone footage from something like this to something like this. All right, let's hop on to Premiere Pro. All right, so right now we're on Premiere Pro and I'm just going to take some of the footage that I shot from yesterday's sunset and drag and drop it onto the project window in Premiere Pro. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it over to the timeline and as you can see, this is the footage that we have raw straight out of the camera looks really good so we're going to be taking this footage and we're just going to be tweaking it a bit so one of the first things you want to do after putting your footage onto the timeline is bump up your saturation up to 150 or 165 and we do that because we want to bring out all the color that is in the footage as you can tell if you just toggle this fx button how much just bumping up the saturation already changes your footage all right so after you're done bumping up your saturation i mean honestly i would probably bump this up to 180. so now that we have the saturation up the next thing that you want to do is tweak your exposure and your highlights so depending on how you want your footage to look you may want to brighten it up with some of your exposure and then take your highlights and make the sky and clouds pop a little bit so you want to do maybe a plus, five, plus 0.5 on your exposure and a minus 25 on your highlights. So the next thing you want to do is come down to your curves and click on RGB curves. You want to set your three dots and just create a pretty simple S curve. So you want to bring down on the bottom, kind of create that nice shadowy kind of dark color effect on the bottom. And then you want to bump it up a little bit on top. And I usually kind of mess with the middle to see what the colors are looking like. I kind of like it being bumped up just a bit. So as you can tell, it's a very simple S curve. And then I'll go over here and do the same thing with the reds, the greens, and the blues. And what this does, it just allows you to really manipulate the colors in the way that you want them to look. Again, last night's sunset was very, very beautiful. So I want to take some of the pinks that were in the sky and make them pop just a bit. And so again, if you want to toggle this FX button right here, you can see what your footage looks like without your color grading and with. As you can tell, it's almost completely different. So the next thing I like to do is come over to this creative box right here. And I would just want to bump up some of the vibrance, maybe to 15 or 20. Uh, let's do about 23. We want to sharpen it up just a tad, so I'll probably do about seven or ten. We'll do seven for right now. And then again, I just want to bump up some of the some saturation again and bring out the blues and the reds in the sky. So we'll go up to 120. So then all I'll do is copy and paste that to my other footage. So I'll come to this one, right click, paste attributes. And as you can tell, it did a really good job of just copying all the colors making it look just as beautiful so this is the hyperlapse that I got on there and you could just again paste attributes okay so now here as you can tell those reds and oranges are way way too much so I will probably toned down some of the vibrancy definitely toned down the saturation especially for these hyperlapses these hyperlapses are always kind of hard to get some of the colors out but this did a tremendous job and that's how simple it is to up your drone footage really it is tweaking your saturation tweaking your earth's curve and after that you just kind of want to mess with it manipulate it whatever way you want it to look like and let's say you want to edit this for instagram reels so all you need to do is go over to sequence sequence settings and type in 1080 by 1920 okay and now you have that vertical look for Instagram Reels. And then all you really have to do is center it to where you want it. So this one, I would kind of want to move it more over here just to get everything more center. 
And that's how easy it is guys to edit your drone footage. It just takes about three or four steps to take your drone footage to look plain and simple like this to nice, colorful and vibrant like this. If there's anything else you guys want to learn, let me know in the comment section below. I love making these tutorial videos because it allows me to share with you some knowledge that I've gained throughout the years, especially when it comes to drone photography and drone videography. That's a lot of uh, hours that I spent having to develop my own style and learn my own kind of skills. Yeah, you know, there's a little things that you that you know from doing photography, but drone photography is almost a completely different thing and learning how to mess with clouds and how to mess with buildings and, and nature and all that kind of stuff. All that took time for me to learn and I love sharing that knowledge with you. So if there's anything else you guys want to learn, go ahead and comment that below. And until next time, see you on the flip side.